rely in, on the support of people like you to be with us in this day and we will never forget that you've been here standing behind us with us in order to continue the work on the ground can only bear fruits if there's political engagement if political decision makers understand that unless they make this conflict a priority and not put on the back burner which has been the case for so many years unless this takes becomes a reality we're not going to see an end to the conflict you need to act now we cannot wait any longer and this is a call for action not just the, to the biden administration but also to my 27 governments in the European Union. During that week, uh, on the Israeli side, on the Palestinian side and beyond, we will need to be steadfast and to um, advocate for more support from our capitals. And this is what we are trying to do here as, as diplomats. You guys worked on this $250 million to the US Congress, which was unbelievable to get done. It's not Jews against Arabs, Palestinians against Israelis. It's us in the room here against those who want to maintain the status quo. This is the part where we have to go back to our own society and find a way that we can push through the defensiveness, push through all the barriers and try to really reach the hearts of people. This fund is really represents a historic decision by the US government that recognizes the invaluable importance of the work of Palestinian Israeli civil society NGOs.